Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about AFLP. AFLP stands for Amplified Fragment Length Polymorphism. In this technique, the genomic DNA is first isolated and subjected to restriction digestion with one or two restriction enzyme. Once the fragments of DNA are produced, they are attached with short sequences called adapters by ligation. During this process, optimal molar ratio of restriction fragments and the adapters must be maintained to achieve ligation, otherwise the fragments of genomic DNA can also be ligated. Once the adapters have ligated, the mixture is then subjected to PCR amplification using primers that are specific for the adapters. Hence, the PCR reaction will now amplify the fragments into many copies that can be easily separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. The DNA amplicons in the agarose gel are then denatured into single-stranded DNA by using an alkali. This is followed by transfer of these fragments on the membrane. The detection of these fragments is done using a labeled probe that is complementary to the single-stranded DNA. The probe is usually made by attaching P32 or a fluorescence dye at 5' end of the primer. Once the probe is allowed to hybridize single-stranded DNA fragments on the membrane, an X-ray film is placed on the membrane to perform autoradiography. Once autoradiography is performed, the AFLP pattern can be visualized. Now, if the DNA is isolated from different individuals, then any type of variation present in the genome can be detected by analyzing AFLP pattern. The AFLP pattern usually contains about 50 to 100 bands which are relatively easy to analyze as compared to RFLP and RAPD. Also AFLP results are highly reproducible and accurate as compared to other techniques. The other advantage of AFLP is that no prior sequence information about the genomic DNA is required.